I'm still the one that drove the haulage truck that nearly killed two people. And I will always be the one that drove the haulage truck that nearly killed two people. There's three of us in this pickup, the foreman driving, and we had gotten called to another truck that was possibly going to be down for the day. He was a little bit angry, pulling in and left us two in the pickup. And when we did pull into that blind spot, I knew that we were wrong. We shouldn't be doing this. Why are we pulling up here? And he was very upset already, so I was a little intimidated that I might be in trouble. I didn't have the courage to say anything. You know, it, it won't happen to me, and we'll be okay This just this one time. I did hear a horn honk, but then the tire was already in motion. Myself and the oiler were scrambling. The front tire had already crushed part of the box and the back dually was coming at me and I could see each tread going in slow motion coming at the truck thinking oh no now I'm going to die it was just a typical day you did your your ground check and then you went up and you did your check from up top and then you sat in there and were ready to go and when they had opened the door, I just fell out onto the ground. They told me on the radio that I had run over a pickup, and I thought they were joking. When I did stop and came down and saw what happened, I lost it. The whole truck presents a unique challenge in terms of the operator being able to see what they have to see, to see that nobody is in the um, line of fire. That's why we developed over time, and they'll evolve over time, rules that say how you approach a whole truck, how you even go near it, you know, that communication, that, that, that you know, to have that eyesight contact with that person is so, so critical, so they know you're in the area. But even when all those rules are, are followed, um, if we don't have that communication when you're leaving the whole truck, and we don't know that you're out of the way, there's a potential for, a, for an incident that is probably more applicable to a haul truck than any other unit that we have. What happened was I had called the operator off a 916 truck and I had a, uh, an item that I was going to pass off to him. When I got to the truck, I pulled in front and pulled off to the side. I did have uh, eye communication with uh, the driver as he got out of the truck and started walking down the ladder, why, I don't understand. I didn't get out of the pickup to meet him halfway. I thought I could take a shortcut and back up and meet him on the boarding ladder. As uh, he come down to the bottom rung, I opened up the door and just took one step outside the vehicle and handed him the uh, light that I had for him. Now, as he proceeded back up the ladder, I got back into my pickup and I had a call, so instead of taking off again, I grabbed the mic, I said, go ahead for Roger. And I heard the horn from the truck. When I uh, initially looked at the truck and it was moving forward, the thought that come to mind right now is it's, I'm done, it's over. When I put my hand on the gear shift, I says, not today. And that's uh, when I felt the, the impact or the contact made. I just thought he'd give me the lamp and take off just like that. I never would have thought he would have stayed parked there. I was totally distracted and yeah, I just got caught up that there was someone in my truck and he was going for a ride along and I guess I was just too anxious to get out of there and get moving. We find uh, every time that we have erred in some way, it's usually because our state of mind. We were either rushing or we never had our mind on task or we were frustrated or fatigued. And then what happens? Uh, that leads to at-risk behavior and then eventually we, we will err in some way. We've done something over and over and over again. We become complacent and then we pretty soon we don't see the risks or the, or the hazards anymore. You just got to be aware all the time. You just got to be able to uh spot a potential hazard like 
complacency and, and distractions. You just can't let that get to you. It happened that fast. I did have a second chance. It's possible the next person that has an incident like this won't be so lucky.